Welcome to the Essence Annotations Tag Management Tutorial. This video shows how to view your tags, modify roles, use discoverable features, and to remove tags from records and tags entirely, in addition to bulk upload. We'll start from the previous screen, which showed the tag that we created in the introductory video. Now that we've created this test tag, we'll navigate to the Tag Manager which will display all of the tags to which you have the access to modify as the administrator. In this system, many tags already have been created, including the tag that we created in the previous video. Each one of these columns reflects a tag attribute. The discoverable tag will show tags that are available to be reviewed by every user in the system, though their specific tag information is not viewable as it relates to the records that have been tagged. And we'll cover that in more detail later in this video. The tag name is displayed, your role, typically an admin, the administrators of the tag, of which there may be multiple, the editors of a tag, what it means to be an editor is that in contrast to being an administrator who could, for example, delete a tag, modify its metadata, an editor may apply a tag to a record or remove a tag from a record, but an editor cannot delete the tag entirely. So in this example, for this particular tag, there are many editors versus few admins. Finally, the viewers of a tag may only view records that have tags associated with them. And query for those tags that they have access to see but they cannot add or remove tags to any records. Finally, the records tag column gives an indication of how widely the tag has been applied. Now to modify the users of a tag, we'll start with the tag that we created previously, noting that there is only one editor, and we will add an editor to this tag, who now has the capability to modify that tag. The viewers of the tag, we've navigated down to the previous entry, there still are only two viewers of the tag because being an editor of a tag implies that you are the viewer. Similarly, being the administrator of a tag would also imply that you are a viewer as well as an editor. Now that you've seen the basics of adding, removing the users, let's talk about a bulk feature for each tag, which is to add all viewers. There are these checkboxes at the upper left that can be applied. And when you add the viewer, it will prompt you to confirm that you are in fact prepared to make it viewable by everyone, effectively making it a public tag hit yes, and now everyone can view this tag. So as you can see, the number of viewers has been updated accordingly. Another public-like feature that is slightly separate from the viewers functionality is the discoverable flag. If we navigate to the tag discovery page, you will see that there already have been nominated a number of tags in the system that are quote unquote, discoverable. And what this means is that any user in the system, not merely users that can see your existing tag in some other way, but any user in the system can see all the tags in the system and they can look up who the administrators of those tags are to be gained viewer, editor, or administrator access as appropriate. You'll see on this screen, the tag name is displayed, who created the tag initially, the comments that are associated with it, and the administrators of the tag, which are viewable by clicking on the appropriate cell. So if you wish to advertise your tag to the users of the server, you will select the Make Discoverable button. It will prompt you to make the tags discoverable. There are multi-select capabilities in this GUI as well. And now your tag is discoverable. So now that you see that there is a hourglass, a magnifying glass icon, returning to the tag discovery page, you hit the refresh, 
and now this tag is also discoverable. So now we've shown you adding things to the tag and enhancing visibility. Let's talk about removing visibilities, removing features. Simple version of removing visibility would be removing the discoverable. You also could remove viewers. And you see that the number of viewers has been updated. And we also should cover removing tags. So let's go to query for the tag again. We see here that the tag is still displayed and we will remove this tag from the record. And you see that this screen has been updated. Now there no longer is a tag icon. If there are multiple tags on a record, the icon still will display, but the list of tags will be updated to reflect the current set of tags associated with that record. And finally, there is the capability to delete a tag entirely. So for example, if you're creating training tags in a training environment, you may wind up using this operation frequently to clean up the screen. So you will select tags you wish to delete. You will delete the tag. We'll refresh first to make sure that the count is most appropriate. Although that's not necessarily strictly necessary, you can now see that there were zero tags before there were one. You can delete the tag, and now you see that the PL test 27 is no longer in evidence. If for some reason you decide that you did not want to delete that tag, there also is a restore tag functionality, which when invoked will show you the list of tags that have been deleted in the system. You will see the dates on which they were deleted, which may be helpful in a training setting as well. You may be creating a lot of tags with the same name. And you will be able to restore that tag. Now, the limitation of this, you know, or the feature that you may not be aware of, is that when you restore a tag, the system will try to reapply this tag to all the records that it previously was applied to at the time of deletion. So in this case, there were no records tagged, so we're not going to see any new tags reappear. However, this will also attempt to restore all those previous associations. Finally, we're going to create a new tag, but this time we're going to use a bulk upload. So if you have an Excel spreadsheet or some other listing of tags that or records that you would like to tag all together because you've collected them from an analytics tool or have some other means, this provides you with the capability to do that. So I'll go off screen and select a list of tags that I previously acquired for the purposes of this video. And I will enter them into the checkbox. And in this screen, I will enter the new tag name. I'm gonna make it discoverable by default. I will enter in the comment. And notice that also on the screen, the data source that you wish to apply for these tags must also be selected. Each data source has a unique domain. Typically, it's called an essence ID, but it may not always be an essence ID as the identifier. Which one that is may depend upon the particular data source that you're using but it is typically the essence ID that's listed in the data details. So I selected the data source that I'd like to use. I selected the um, identifiers that I'd like to use. This list is comma separated. So if, for example, I put a carriage return on there, you'll notice that the GUI provides a small visual indication that your input may be invalid. And then finally, when you're satisfied with how many you've entered, you may hit submit. The number of essence IDs at some point is limited by the number of characters the server will accept at one time. But 
you should be able to enter thousands into this screen. Go hit submit. You create the tag and it should apply to the record. So now you see that we've created this entry. And if we return to data details, we'll refresh the screen to make sure that we've gotten the new tag identifier brought down into the configuration wizard. Although that's not always necessary. We will return to select tag, noting that now we have this test 28 tag and we will invoke the data details to confirm that in fact, these three records have been tagged with this essence ID. And you'll also see that on these records, since I gave it this new ID, that they have other essence IDs that previously were associated with them. We just didn't do it in this session. So this concludes the essence annotations management tutorial.